Proverbs 12 verse 13 War Pigs Proverbs 12 verse 13 An evil man is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous will escape from trouble. As I blogged about Proverbs 12 13, my mind dwelled on the war between Russia and Ukraine, all the atrocities happening to civilians who are not soldiers but are still killed like enemies of Russia. U.S. President Joe Biden and others say Russian President Putin is committing war crimes. Still, a veritable war is hell, and there really isn't such a thing as fairness. During World War II, the Germans dropped bombs on the civilians of England. Adolf Hitler declared Jews enemies of the states. All their belongings were taken, and millions died and Nazi Germany saw nothing wrong with it. As a guy who loved rock and roll music, in my teens I started to like heavy metal rock music. My family and friends told me not to listen to the devil worship music, but a lot of it makes a lot of common sense and is really intelligent. Black Sabbath are the pioneers of heavy metal. They named themselves Black Sabbath to be a part of the occult or horror movie theme, with dark lyrics. According to the songwriter Geezer Butler, their song War Pigs was initially titled Walpurgis, which was Christmas time for witches or Satanists. He compared those who plan wars, like Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, Eric the Red, Napoleon Bonaparte, or General Sherman, to witches and satanic, because wars are bloodbaths. To Geezer Butler of Black Sabbath war pigs are evil, and many worldwide would agree with the guitarist of Black Sabbath. The Emperor Nero of Rome, Adolf Hitler, and Bonaparte were rumored to be antichrists. Still, two died of suicide, and one of sexually transmitted disease. Attila the Hun was a fantastic warrior, and felt like he was invincible. Feeling victorious, he married a very young girl, Attila indulged himself heavily with lots of food and wine during the wedding celebration. While he slept beside his beautiful new young wife, he died of a nosebleed because the blood ran down his throat, and he choked to death. Alexander the Great had a similar end after conquering all he could conquer anymore. He drank a toast to each of his generals, and he died of alcohol and blood poison. Adolf Hitler took a poisonous pill and shot his wife and himself because he knew he had lost World War II. Sadly, civilians like the Jews, people of London, England, and current Ukraine have died and are still dying. The only great escape for children of God is everlasting life in heaven where there is no such thing as war pigs. God bless you all, the Prince of Peace loves you, and so do I. His bondservant Samuel Jerry Head Luke 21 verse 9, And when you hear of wars and revolts, do not be alarmed, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. 10 Then he continued by saying to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Psalm 33 verse 13 The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of mankind. 14 From his dwelling place he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. 15 He who fashions the hearts of them all, he who understands all their works. 16 The king is not saved by a mighty army. A warrior is not rescued by great strength. 17 A horse is a false hope for victory, nor does it rescue anyone by its great strength. 18 Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who wait for his faithfulness, 19 To rescue their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. 20 Our soul waits for the Lord, he is our help and our shield.